Welcome to Game Maker. Pilots and their aircraft defending our airspace from uh, from the invasion of the asteroid. And we also have a remote control planes. And uh, they're doing their best space the other problem we are having is the pollution of the asteroid as you can see the airplanes have destroyed so the next thing I would do right now is just take you guys to um, get me and show you how I've uh, managed to make this uh, so let's go into um get me and uh, you guys will see how uh, my is together Right. Okay, and now I'm, I'm inside a game maker development environment. So the first thing I'll do now is to import the following. Let me show it to you guys. I'll be importing the following these two airplanes, this very flying ship there, this very one, my background. Explosive or explosion um, bullets. Those are the objects that I'm going to be importing into the system, including the asteroid itself. So let's go into the system now. Okay, now I will start by importing the following. I will import my asteroid. That's it right there. Underscore asteroid. Make sure you have the center checked. Now follow by. Um, okay, might as well go for the bullet. And uh, let's get the yeah the airplanes. That's for the left one, and I'll get it in the center as well. Check the center, checked. Get the right one as well. Let's get the names. Enter, checked, and I will actually repeat the same thing for all of the sprites that I actually use in uh, developing this program. So, might as well just speed that up and get back to you guys. That will save us some time. Okay, now I'm importing the flying airplane as you can see sort of like rotate and the reason being it has 72 images all together so these 72 images will be divided to get the right direction and you guys will see how I'll do that let me show you all the images here they are those are all the images okay so let's just speed that up I will now get a land plane now I have all my sprites in place. The next thing I'll do is just get the sound, load the sound that I intend to use. Okay, I'm just gonna pick on maybe this, that's fine. Just change the name there. Okay, now followed by my background. That's my background right there. You must, a lot of you should know this very background is the one I developed in uh, Flash. So, as a background, I intend to use. Okay, so now I have all my sprite, the sound, and the background in place. The next thing I will do now, let me just create my room. Just get the background in there. That's the background in there already. Can you see that? That is too small because the size, if you look at the size of my 
background right here we're talking of 1021 by 801 so let's go back and get the room sorted here go in there and just set that to about 1021 and uh, change this to 801 so that's my that's my background now sorted so if I now come in here and when check that you can see the whole background appears so let's go back the next thing now is to start creating all of the objects so the first object that intent or that I'll be creating is the flying let me start with my flying airplane right click and create my object object flying okay select the flying sprite itself which is right there then start with end step end step okay I'll now select my change sprite right here so once the change sprite is selected I will I might as well just select my flying rocket and uh, right there I will enter direction divide by 5 and the speed I'll leave that as 0 click on OK you might be wondering why is direction divided by 5 let me show you the images right here look at all the images I have approximately 71 with 0 that will make it 72 okay so we have 72 images all together and that is why I say direction divide by 5 if you say 5 multiplied by 72 that should give you 360 so let's continue so the next thing is to apply add events okay select the left the left direction and go to movement and drop in move freely in there I will enter direction direction or divide that let's say direction plus two and the speed allocate speed of about six and click on ok I will now add an event to the right place that there and double click on it open it up and change that to minus two so to the right is minus two to the left is plus two okay supposing I'm not using my keys at all so let's say if there's no key what should happen if there's no key so if there's no key my direction in this case I'm gonna make that as direction equals direction let it just face where it is and that will be zero okay so once that is zero I might as well change my airplane to land plane which is not here right now so I have to create one right now and come back here okay let's just hold it right there the fork the next thing I should do is create an object and I'll call that my land plane landed plane right there come in here get my landed plane which is right there click on ok I'll get back to that come in here now change this to my landed airplane and click on ok now that that is in place I might as well just speed up the whole process because this is going to take too long so I'll just speed it up and get back to you guys okay now I have the event up direction is six uh, direction and six right if the airplane goes out it should come back onto the stage in both direction you can always change that to either vertical or horizontal but I've left my as both direction I have I've used alt key as my shooting here instead of using uh, space key you can always use a space key if you want so that's for the bullet and that's the speed of the bullet whatever direction the enemy is so head over to the direction of the enemy and that is that for the flying airplane and as for the asteroid direction of the asteroid the asteroid is moving randomly 360 degrees at the speed of 4 and if you look here you see 
all of my asteroid I believe I have approximately 180 asteroid there so if you divide that by 2 you should know that will give you 360 okay now collusion collusion with the plane destroy if you notice I said destroy all that that's to destroy the airplane collusion with the enemy airplane destroy the same thing and in this case change the instant to explosion and uh, add the sound repeat the same thing to the right airplane destroy change instant as well so if it goes out of the room come back into the room in both direction mm, no let's make that let's make that horizontal okay that's a uh, Asteroid, yeah, in good direction is fine for the asteroid. That's good. And the same thing is been repeated for the land airplane. The land airplane, all of the event on the land airplane is the same thing with the flying airplane. Okay. Now we now have my controls. This is the controls that control that's where I have my timeline. And step into with a step for every 50 steps now embed an asteroid and right here I have my timeline is that the timeline after about 50 steps an asteroid will con will generate and about 100 steps the following will generate enemy airplane to the asteroid and more um, I think I'm gonna to have to wrap this up because this will take a long time but I will have to enter everything in my share drive if you guys want you can always email me well in any case now move towards that is the bullet if the bullet is fired it should move to whatever coordinate an asteroid is and that's it the speed of the bullet that's it right there the same thing applies to the control because I've embedded some asteroid in there but uh, however if there's any collusion between the bullet and the asteroid it should destroy others that, that means destroy the asteroid and explosion at the end of the animation of the explosion it should be destroyed why did I say animation if you look inside the edit that's the animation of the explosion so that's why we need to destroy it at the end okay now the enemy airplane so it's heading to the left that's the speed step into how is generated and that's it right there okay that's uh, the enemy bullet that is being fired by the airplane and if it goes out of the room if the coordinate is less than this it should be destroyed and the same thing applies to the right airplane heading right speed 4 step 50 and every 50 frames generate the following okay if it goes out of the room greater than the width of the room destroy that's the right there destroy and the bullet right here the bullet create the following okay. asteroid number is zero greater than and come in here head for the coordinate of any asteroid speed of 12 else we have moved to the direction at the speed of 12 now for the asteroid here, destroy the asteroid okay now here that's for the asteroid that very coordinate then the sound now we come to the control here destroy the control the same thing with the asteroid because in the control I have some asteroid in there and if the bullet goes out of the stage it should destroy itself and that is all so let me run the program again so that you guys can see it
carefully he goes out of it and comes back the other way. However, if he speaks, then he should have to start the So, guys, I'm going to follow this tutorial and support it a little bit if I have, uh, if you have any requests and you have this. Uh, 